Last week, a completely unknown startup called You has announced their ChatGPT rival, which is called YouChat 2.0. It is a multimodal chat search, just like ChatGPT, however, it is integrated into a search engine of their own called You. So for comparison, that is just like the new Bing or the Google Bar that are now fighting. However, it is already available to be used by everyone without any waiting lists. And it also comes with a mid-journey alternative that is completely free right now. However, it is likely that they will make it paid later this year, so it's a great opportunity to grasp. But anyway, what is this search engine? So they actually launched two years ago, and they believe that there is a room for a search engine that is based more on AI. So they've been working on AI as the foundation for their search engine for quite a while before the whole thing went booming. And if you look lower, he's actually a very anti-Google guy. And that is something that got me sold into the search engine. So the way he puts it is that Google has ultimately weaponized AI against users for the sake of serving its true purpose, advertising. So the way he wants to make it is that you.com will have pretty much little to no ads. And I'm kind of sold already there. But then he said that they don't actually have to make 500 million a day. They don't have the pressure and the fact that their whole app system is free is really promising. So let's now explore it. So to get to the search engine, all you have to do is type in you.com and you get to this interface right here. And at the top, you have a few things. You have YouChat, which is the chat bot. You code, which is for generating the code. You write, which does the writing for you, just like ChatGPT would. However, it's more specific. You can choose the tone. We'll go over that. And you imagine, and this is their free image generation tool. So let's first see how their interface looks like. Let's just type mammal. I have no clue why I came up with a mammal. Okay, so overall a bit crowded design. However, it does have some beautiful snippets, like for example, those rectangles from Marion Webster. And you can scroll through them like to get more info. And this one here is something that you refers to as an app. And as we scroll down, you can see that every link has an image, which is something typical to Bing. You have a few quick facts here. That is another app. As you can see, it's just like a snippet in Google. And on the right hand side, we have Wikipedia. So overall, not much difference. That leads us to the right hand side, which has the U chat in here. So just like new Bing, it takes the search and it passes it through the AI and it gives you an answer with the links. So for example, where it took the Mammalia, you can click on the link and it gets you to Wikipedia or whatever it is as a source. On the right hand side, actually we have all the links that are related to your search term and you have Wikipedia at the bottom. The Wikipedia is again their app, so pretty simple interface. However, I want to try something more advanced just to show you guys what it, what is capable of. Should I invest in companies that released AI? It gives an opinion, yeah, you should invest, blah, blah, blah. That is not the whole point. Now we can ask it, what is the top company that invested into AI recently? And it is actually telling you that Microsoft has made an investment, 1 billion into OpenAI, and it gives the link. So that is already very promising. And the fact that it gives link and links it back has access to the newest information. All right, let's ask it, what is the stock price of Microsoft? And here's when it gives that the current stock price of Microsoft is 242.82. And to take it a step further, we can actually ask it to show the real time graph of Microsoft stock. Okay, so after a few tries, it actually gave me the graph. So as you can see, it's something similar to Yahoo Finance. However, the point is that it's right here in the same widget and you have the links on the right and you have the graph on the left now. You can access the info before and overall, it's pretty cool. And obviously, if we take the same request to ChatGPT, it wouldn't be able to handle it just because it doesn't have access to real-time stock prices. And the same applies to the graph. It just gives you a two. Very, very sad. I'm sorry. Okay, so now that we have looked at the search engine and the UChat feature, let's talk about apps. So as you have noticed from before, apps are those small snippets that show up as, for example, quick facts or, for example, Wikipedia on the right hand side. However, to give you a more clear view, I think they should have separated apps into two things, sources and tools. Sources are the actual apps that you see on the search results. However, tools are those things that come on top of the search engine. For example, you chat, you code, you write, you imagine. So let's now explore all the apps. 
For example, here you have popular apps. This could include Wikipedia, Reddit, YouTube, Twitter. The way they work, and again, those I would consider sources, but you can call them differently. The way it works is you can, for example, take Wikipedia, you can like it here, and what it does is that it will show more in your searches. So by liking it, you customize your search results and see what matters to you. For example, if you're more interested in YouTube, and when you search for a specific video, you would want YouTube source to appear as part of the search results. And this is pretty cool because you can literally customize the entire search engine just to make it yours. And you can add as many snippets as you want. And that brings us to the tool. So let's see what other tools you.com has on top of the UChat features. As the second option, they give you code. And if you click try it now, it turns into this mode where everything that you search is actually related to code. So for example, how to animate in CSS. And so here, the search results are actually more tailored to the coding itself. So for example, W3Schools, which is a popular website, and you have Snippet, which is another app, as they call it. And you can navigate through the apps here on the top by clicking more, you can, we can navigate to Write, which is the next tool I want to talk about. And this feature here is very similar to the new Bing's one, which has the interface for composing any message, for example, choosing a tone, format, length, and then you generate a draft and you put it here. The same way it works here, you can choose a use case out of seven options. So for example, I would choose a blog, professional style, audience, I would say children, write a hundred word article about what went wrong with my face. And for whatever reason, you would want to write a blog for children in a professional tone about what went wrong with my face. So that is a beautiful tool to use it exactly for that. And that brings us to the last one of the most interesting tools on my list called You Imagine. So basically, it is their AI image generator app, which is just like Midjourney or DALI. However, here it is completely free. From everything that the team from you.com is saying, they actually plan to make it paid later this year. So it's better to try it out before it's paid. Let's look into it. Here you have four models. Once you open it, you have Stable Diffusion, Open Journey, and Anime. So so stable diffusion is a pretty typical choice, but I would advise on using open journey. So to give an overview, open journey is an open source fine tuned model that was based on mid journey and has stable diffusion as their foundation. So for example, that is the difference on the left hand side, you have the stable diffusion and on the right hand side, you have the open journey. There's a huge difference. Like there's so much more detail that they have. So I really advise on using this one. And if you look here at the prompt hero, so that is how their prompts turn out. And this is really impressive. And considering that it's free there, and here they have literally amazing results. A comparison with the mid journey prompts here. So I wanted to actually test it out and I want to take a random image from here. So for example, the spacesuit with boots, let's copy paste it into the open journey of you.com. All right, and here's what we got. Unfortunately, it only generates one image, but who am I to complain if it's free? That is how it looks like. Not much detail. Uh, Mid Journey would probably give more details. Here's an example of an anime image, and I actually wouldn't rate it low. I'm actually impressed of how good it did. Let's try the stable diffusion now. Okay, and this is the stable diffusion. So if we put them side by side, on the top left, we have the mid journey. On the bottom left, we have the open, the open journey. And here's the stable diffusion. And the last one is anime. So you can overall see that mid journey obviously has more detail, but I wouldn't say that the open journey is very far off. Like maybe if you tweak it a bit and you play around and you use more advanced prompts as part of their guide, maybe you could achieve something like this. And that gets us to the last part of the tool. So as you can see here, it generates not very pixel perfect images. And yeah, for example, you can see here the dimensions are just 512 pixels. If you really like the image, what you can do, and that is just an alternative of an upscale button in mid journey, you just click and you drag and drop into here, into AI image resolution enhancer, click improve image resolution. And now you have a pixel perfect. Look at the difference here. It's a huge difference, obviously, because this is four times the dimensions of the previous one. So as you can see here, it is a 2K and this one is 512. Oh, and another quick word while I'm here, you can see and the search bar instead of actually clicking more and accessing each individually, like going into write code image. Imagine you can actually type here 
a command which starts with an at symbol and then you would use write to open up you write you would use draw or imagine if you want to use the you imagine and you would use code for any code for example from here why can't penguins fly in case you have searched for that so you would go into write an article about why penguins can't fly so instead of giving you the search results it gets you to the you write app straight away so let's now talk what is next for the search engine even though they do advertise themselves as search engines lack ai as their foundation they actually have a very strong angle towards privacy so here is a quick overview of how does you.com protect my privacy so as you can see at the bottom here they have a comparison the first one is g which stands for google you.com personal mode DuckDuckGo, which is another search engine, and the private mode that you.com has. And personal mode, which is likely the, what you will be using. They already don't share your IP with search partners. Location data is completely anonymized. And no targeted ads, which is a big one, which is again one of their advertising angles. And here's a cool part. It says that in private mode, even though they do send anonymized query data to Microsoft or whatever the services, the apps as they call it, these queries come from you.com IP address. So those partners don't know from where the query originated from. And if you're like me, I'm using a lot of Chrome extensions and they do know everything about me. And a lot of my information is just given to them so they work properly. So with those thoughts in mind, I actually believe that you.com has a very bright future. My biggest point really is that they are a small startup that is releasing huge ton of innovation and they can afford their risk. So for example, if Newing and Google want to work on the feature, they first think about their brand identity. Unlike here, they are willing to go a step further and they're likely to push something super innovative. So that is super promising for me. For example, this UChat, it's now already released and was released quite a while ago. It's just not many people knew about it. And I specifically had no idea about this whole U search engine. And well, until, you.com devours Bing and Google. Feel free to use it for now. Feel free to play with the features. And if you're like me and you don't have access to the new Bing, just ask mortals. This is available for you straight away. I'll see you in the next one.